everybody. Welcome back to Design Weekly and this is week three. Uh, now in the last episode, what we did was we played around with voice commands in Adobe XD and we created a really cool uh, AI app, so as to say, where uh, the app could recognize your voice and show you data based on the question you've asked. I'll be giving the a link down in the description. If at the end of the video you want to go back and see what we did last week, you can do that as well. And also in the description, what I'll give is today's Adobe XD files. So once we're done with what I've what I have to show you guys, you can just download straight up the XD file from the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, we will uh, pick a web 1920 uh, screen here. We just click on this and Adobe XD automatically creates an artboard with those dimensions. Uh, now today we are going to work on a really creative uh, slider tutorial. So there are a lot of sliders, just plain sliders which go from left to right. You just drag and you just take that. Um, to from the left to the right but today we're going to do something different today we're going to do something really innovative um, uh, I'll give you a hint wait a second let me just uh, copy something over I'll give you a little hint okay <laughs> that that itself is the hint okay um, now what we're going to do is with the slider we are going to create a car moving from left to right and with uh, Adobe XD's unique drag functionality we'll be able to drag the car from left to right and the road uh, which we will be representing right now will uh, twist and turn as the car moves from left to right. So that'll be like a really unique creative way to make a slider and you can have this on your websites, your uh, your applications, uh, any anything, and it can be a, a gamified version of a slider. So let's get started. Um, I'll place the car aside a little bit, and first we're gonna create a um, a line. We'll use the pen tool to, to create the line here uh, from left to right. Okay, okay. Now that we have the line, this is a very thin line. We're gonna increase the size of this line. Uh, it's let's just say 40. Okay, that's that's quite thick. Maybe just increase it a little bit more. 50, yes. And we are gonna make this line a little darker to represent the road. Now this kind of looks like a road, but to represent it even more, uh, Adobe XD has this uh, option where you can dash the line. So here we will put in a number such as 50. See, isn't that really unique? Adobe XD provides these really cool little tools which can help you, uh, you know, create your designs quicker and faster without having to do stuff in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. Okay, so, um, and trust me, I, I know a lot of guys who just use Adobe XD for even their basic simple uh, designs. Okay, so the car uh, in this, uh, perspective is moving on top of the road which is here now um, in most cases what I would do is I would uh, just you know start from the beginning and get get to the end but here to make the whole process easier we will start from the end so we will imagine that the car has moved till the end here and now we'll start. Now, since this is a line, we can add as many anchor points as we want to, and we're gonna use that to our advantage. Now, uh, what we have to do is create like, um, almost like a graph here. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. And um, for example, here, I will uh, put an anchor point here and drag this anchor point up. Now, as you can see, this is just being dragged without any curvatures or so. But we want to create twists and turns, and twists and turns uh, generally generally have a curve, right? So what you're going to do is just on this dot. Here's a quick fix. Here's a quick trick for you guys to learn. Just double click on this dot, and voila, you have a curved line. Now let's just uh, grab this handle 
and we will bring this closer. Now this curve isn't as humongous as it was and it's, it looks much cleaner now. Uh, we will do the same with another point here. We will add another anchor point uh, at this more or less the same distance. And we will drag this little guy here. Okay, now that's a little twist in the road. Um, now let's create one more with the same distance as before. So we have like almost three blocks in between here or four blocks. This, okay, that's almost the same distance as before. And as you can see, Adobe XD is adjusting the width of the line based on uh, the actual the the actual perspective here. So the line stays the same length. It's not uh, increasing or decreasing in size as we create increase the curvature here. Uh, let me create this sharp turn so as to say, and uh, one just for the car here and. Yep, and make sure this is kind of straight at the end. So it seems like the car is on the surface here. Okay, perfect. Now there's like a twisty road here and the car has landed up here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate these. We are gonna select this artboard and say Control D or Command D for those who are using Mac. Uh, and just, oops, sorry. Uh, and. Control D three to four, five times, right? Now we have the same stuff on all artboards and now we're gonna move backwards. So um, this is the final destination of the car. And here we will bring this car backwards a little bit, just on the same path uh, till here, till the previous curvature. Let me just, yeah. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this line which is behind this and this anchor point which we used to curve the line, we will double click on it again and this straightens the road as you can see. Uh, we will just adjust the road so that it's, uh, you know, it seems like a road and it's completely straight. And this is one artboard, now we'll go back to another previous artboard. And since we've made this change already here, so we're going to delete this artboard and copy this artboard here. Just drag while clicking Alt. This will just immediately copy this artboard over here. So basically duplicating didn't make much of, of sense here, but uh, I just did it just to show you guys how to duplicate. Now we will select this line again, double click, and you can see these little dots which represent the anchor point. And we'll double click here again. So this makes this curve so as to stay uh, straight. Now we'll bring this, drag this down until it is leveled. Adobe XD will tell you when it's leveled by showing like a little blue line, which is really good. We go back to the previous one. We can delete this one too. Uh, and we're gonna just copy this over. Remember, dra drag while uh, pressing down Alt will copy it uh, to wherever you want it to be. Okay, now we have this line again and we will straighten this uh, little anchor point up. Double click as we did before and just bring it up a little bit. Yep, now it's straight. And here, we will just copy it again. Uh, as I said, we're moving backwards in this case because uh, that way we know where the car is and where the lines are. Now we will double click on this last anchor point and just slowly bring it down. Perfect, now this is again a flat road. We'll bring the, now we just have to drag the car a little bit on the on the same path. Um, we did that here, but we didn't, we've got to do that here. Uh, we bring the car here. Perfect. And here we bring the car to this point. Perfect. Keep saving your work, guys. If you haven't saved your work, then you should just keep saving your work uh, to whatever uh, uh, folder you want. Uh, it's a good practice to keep saving your work. Whatever kind of designer you are, just keep on saving your work. It saves a lot of time and if by chance something crashes or uh, I don't know, your uh, laptop uh, just shuts down because it has no juice left in it, you can just easily uh, get back to it after you plug in the charger. So now we will go head on to prototype mode so that we can 
make sure that uh, the magic is happening. Now what we'll do is we will uh, click on this car because this is what we will be dragging and take this arrow to the next artboard. Um, and rather than saying tap, we will open this and say drag, go down and in the easing, you can use any one of these, but here for right now, we're just gonna uh, use a simple ease in out uh, transition. Just click on this and that's it. Um, in case your, uh, your action is set to transition, you can just click here and set it to auto animate and everything will remain the same. Now that we set this, uh, Adobe XD actually has uh, the ability to just save your previous choices. So if you uh, drag this on the second artboard, you're already set. You don't have to set any of this. Uh, thank you Adobe for that. <laughs> thank you that we don't have to change things every single time. And that's it. Okay, so here there's a little uh, problem. Let's just click drag, let's just select drag. Let's make sure nothing's, um, okay. Okay, I take that back. <laughs> okay, uh, so I thanked Adobe a minute ago, but I'm gonna take that all back. Uh, the trigger is not saved. The trigger options or the trigger presets so as to say aren't saved. You have to click on drag every time here, but that's fine. Okay, now that everything is ready, uh, we're gonna select this artboard and we're gonna start our little uh, slider animation. So now that we have this prototype open in preview mode, uh, all I need to do now is let the magic happen. So now I will click on this car and drag it across the screen one by one and we'll see the animation come to life. So I'm gonna drag this, oops, there's a little twist in the road. I drag this again, oops, it's gonna twist again. I drag it again, oops, it's twisting even more. And oops, okay, so now we've reached the end. And there's a little, a cool little transition and animation, so as to say, using auto, just auto animate in Adobe XD, nothing else. Now that's, now that is pretty cool. Um, what? There was another idea which I had, which I didn't um, use here uh, because this was simpler, was a snake. So uh, a snake, you drag a snake's head and uh, he would slither with his body here. That was also pretty cool, but I thought maybe a car uh, would represent a road here, maybe like a, a, a twisty, turny road, but that's fine. Maybe the snake, uh, if you create something like that, do show it to me sometime. But that was just a little quick tutorial on how to make a cool slider um, for your web design or app design projects. Uh, except that um, I've done two more videos just like this one, but with different kind of information and different kind of things we've tested out. And we do this every single week. So I'm back every single week, not even, I've not been missing even a single week. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, design. Um, this little car that I've picked up, I will uh, give the link in the description. It's from FreePick, it's not something I made, um, but you can pick it up too and you can use it in your projects as well. I'll be linking down uh, a Google Drive, um, a Google Drive file, which you can download, which is this Adobe XD file, which we worked on today. And you can just start off from there. Uh, I hope you like this video. Do go ahead and subscribe because that really helps me out. I do a lot of other stuff like go, uh, making GoPro vlogs. I have uh, a daily motivation uh, series and that's pretty cool. So go ahead and check out my channel. Like, like this video if you liked today's designs and I'll keep doing this week after week. Hope you have a great day or great night wherever you are and uh, peace.